Hi guys, welcome to another Grower's Guide. This is part 2 of my 3 part guide to getting more P attack. In this video, we are going to talk about the Adventure Book. The Adventure Book records various things you've done in the game. For example, your progress through the story, how many times you've used Play Dead, and other silly things like that. But more importantly, it records the achievements that you've done. For example, this Agility's Desire achievement which gave me 1.5 attack for reaching 99 agility. This means that the Adventure Book is one of the ways you can further improve your character. Now what I like about the Adventure Book is that the progress you make here is account-wide. That means all of your characters in that account will benefit from the bonuses that you've gathered. The first of four ways to improve your P attack through the Adventure Book is via Achievements. The Achievements tab is the second to the last option. Just scroll down a bit and you'll find it. And tap on the Unlock Attributes option to see all of the achievements you've gotten so far. Now I'm not gonna list how to get all of these. Instead, I'm going to share a link I found on Reddit. It's a website that lists all of the current achievements for the C server. You can find that link in the description of the video. The second of four ways to get more P attack through the adventure book is through cuisine. Consuming cuisine will provide you bonus stats depending on which food you've eaten. In addition to that, you can also gain permanent stat bonuses by reaching level 10 cooking mastery or level 10 taste mastery or in some cases reaching level 10 in both categories. The fastest way to get to the Cuisine Association is going to the north side of Frontera City and talking to this NPC. He'll teleport you directly to the Cuisine Association. Once you're here, you can do the quest to unlock the cuisine, but that's outside the scope of this video. I've unlocked cooking and I've unlocked all of the recipes. Now I'm after unlocking the permanent stat bonuses. In this example, I want to reach level 10 cooking mastery in Fisherman's Soul. Unfortunately, my marked meat stock is running low. This means that I have to gather the rare ingredient marked meat. There are two ways to gather ingredients. The first one is through farming. If you want to farm for ingredients, you have to buy this Chef's Eagle Eye item. Note that it's limited to 5 per day, so make sure you buy them every day. Since we are after mark meat, we have to make sure that the monsters we target will drop those items. To find out which monsters drop them, go to the item box, then select the item you want to farm, and then select the acquire or tap on the acquire button on the upper right. Now it showed that marks and nightmares can drop the mark meat that we're after. So after using the chef's eagle eye item, you can start farming that monster and then you have a chance to get the ingredient that you want. The second way to get ingredients is by buying them directly from the NPC. The rare ingredient NPC can sell you rare ingredients but only a certain amount per day. Now the amount it sells is random so sometimes you get 1, sometimes you get 7. It's completely random. Now even if you're not going to use the ingredients immediately, it's a good idea to buy them out every day anyway because that way when you decide to start going for the uh, cooking achievements, you will have a, a stockpile of ingredients to work with. Also, it should be noted that the ingredients itself is account-wide. So if you buy out all of the items using character A, when you log in character B, all of the items will still be sold out. The third of four ways to get more P attack through the adventure book is through headgears. Now, headgears will give you bonus stats for crafting them and for depositing them. For example, this Finn Helm gives a total of 10.5p attack for crafting and depositing it. Here's a quick tip, you can actually craft headwares directly from your adventure book. Just tap on craft headwear, quick buy, and you'll be shown the blueprint and all the items that you're still missing for that headwear. 
You can also filter for attack then physical so the game will only show you which headwear will provide P attack for crafting, depositing or using the headwear. As you can see I'm still missing a lot of headgears, mostly boss headgears because those are pretty expensive to craft. The last of four ways to get more P attack through the adventure book is through cards. Like the headwares, you can also filter cards for attack then physical and then the game will only show you cards which will give you P attack for unlocking or depositing them. Listed cards last because I feel like cards are the hardest to complete. I mean, sure you can buy cards for the deposit bonus, but what about the loot or the draw bonus? I mean, really, who can get cards on demand? Who's that lucky? I know I'm not. I mean, I got this Desert Wolf card, but that's a lucky drop. I mean, I never, I didn't get anything else aside from that. One more thing you should note is that you should almost always participate in events because the events, event cards or the cards that you get from events usually have P attack or M attack bonuses attached to them. For reference, here is my adventure book stats. I have 351 attack currently. As you saw, I'm still missing a lot of headwear and cards, so I still have a lot of room for improvement. And like always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and ask here on, on my social media. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!